And so I always wonder how can they do the two when they want to how, when they want to claim as Christian, yet at the same time during the rest of the year they'll go crazy about pagans and how evil and everybody's going to hell yeah. and have, doing pagan 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 celebrations. To, so to I be think fair, the entire thing is. To be fair, there are a lot of denominations that do not celebrate Christmas, that do understand, and, and are, they're opposed to its pagan roots, so they don't celebrate. There, there are a number of denominations that work that way. Um, the rest of them, I think, are just largely ignorant. Uh, and I don't mean that as, you know, oh, you stupid little Christians. It's true. It's ignorance. And we see this ignorance all over the place. I, I've got um, a couple little bits that came from... Um, uh, emails and Sunday school and stuff that I'll probably touch on a little later about Christians just accepting something as true without any evidence, investigation, or mm -hmm. consideration at all. But Robert, I think you'll offer the call. You there? Okay. Well, I think those Christians or otherwise who don't celebrate Christian Christmas are just scourges. Yeah. My thing is, is this whole movement to put, put Christ back in Christ Mass. Um, okay, if you followed that to the extent that they would, that they seem to prefer, mm -hmm. which is let's remove everything that's pagan and secular about Christmas and just celebrate it from a purely Christian standpoint, then the holiday would be about as relevant as Passover. I mean, really. Yeah. You would not, uh, th there would be nothing particularly special about this season. There would be no reason to make it a national holiday. There wouldn't be no reason for businesses to close. It would be just another religious observance. And by the way, uh, for all of you who want to do that, you're entitled to. Nobody's forcing you to tell your kids about Santa. You don't have to exchange gifts. You don't have to put up a tree. I'm not inviting you to my house. I, you know, you better come over here and give me a present. Jesus loves you. I, it's, it's silly. I, I, I really don't get what a lot of the, the, the objection is. Yeah. Um, I think it, it is a fear of irrelevancy, kind of like what mm -hmm. we were talking about there. And that is they realize that if, um, they're afraid that if Christmas continues this pattern of secularization and, and, and everything else, that it will entirely lose its significance. No, 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 that's where the significance is. If it yeah. were entirely about Jesus, it would be insignificant. It would be as lame as Passover or, you know, Ash Wednesday. Well, and, uh, you know, when we were down at the Texas Free Thought Convention, uh, Kathleen Johnson was talking about um, a conversation she'd had with a coworker who said, well, if you're an atheist, then, you know, why do you come to work on Christmas Day? I mean, it's just another day, right? And she said, because I'm not stupid. They're paying me to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and for some of us, that's the significance of Christmas. We get a lot of time off. Yeah. And it, it, people want to talk about, well, what's the real reason for the season? Is it the birth of Jesus? Is it peace on earth, goodwill towards men? Is it... You know, loving each other? Is it spending as much money on useless crap as you can? The reason for the season is whatever you want. Celebrate whatever you want for whatever reason you want. Why is that so hard? Yeah. Why is it, oh, we need a reason to celebrate. No, we don't. You don't need any reason at all to celebrate. As a matter of fact, it may be better to celebrate without a reason. Celebrate, it's much in the same way that people are like, well, how, what's the value of life if it ends? No, 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 the value of life is life. The value of celebration is the fact that you're celebrating. I, I don't know why this stuff's so hard for some people, but we got lots of calls, and I don't want to sit here and ramble. Yes. So, Justin. Hello. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm from Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. We recently received national attention for the um, Kids for Cash scandal. What happened with that is judges were taking kickbacks to put juveniles into a detention center, and that exploded. But recently... The Luzerne County Courthouse had religious displays that were clearly unconstitutional. I filed a, display, um, a complaint to the ACLU. There was this big nativity scene right in the front, lighted up at night, that was way overlooking all the other displays, a menorah way off to the side that wasn't lighted at night, and a snowman behind a tree in the back. So eventually the displays were taken down, and the people in this county went absolutely crazy. I received so much hate mail, threats, nonsense. People are wanting to send me to hell. My soul's tormented and it's getting absolutely ridiculous. They don't want to listen to the arguments that this was unconstitutional, and they 
keep saying things like, oh, you're trying to take away freedom, you're trying to take away my rights, I want to celebrate Christmas, and they don't want to listen to the arguments there. I, I, I have some questions because I'm not familiar with the specifics of this case. Um, what, the nativity scene and the other elements, were they put up by individuals or by the town? The government actually put them up. They bought the items, they maintained the items, and they were using taxpayer money for lights on them, too. And, it was a and government if, display. And w did they have anything that precluded um, uh, competing displays? For example, you know, the, the Freedom from Religion Foundation and other secular organizations, because because ha a, a private group, for example, putting up a display at Capitol um, isn't, isn't a problem unless they're shown preferential treatment and somebody else is denied. You, you can't put up your secular Christmas thing, but we get to put up a religious thing. That's a clear violation. In your case, it seems the violation is that this isn't about individuals putting it up. It's about the government just out and out paying for religious displays. Yes, the government okay. completely constituted free speech in the area. And the nativity scene and the menorah were counted as separate displays because they were so far away from each other. There was no effort for thematic unity. There was no effort to make it a neutral message. It was a clear governmental endorsement. And the ACLU sent a letter out about December 11th. And at the last possible moment, the courthouse responded and said, all right, we're taking it down. And now the county goes crazy. They say, oh, we didn't want to have a legal battle because we're broke and this and that. But they're not willing to stand up and say, what we did is unconstitutional. Yeah. They're not willing to say that. They're just trying to pander to the voters. They are the courthouse. They should know the law. They're violating the law. We shouldn't need to send letters. They should know exactly what's going on. Yeah. So you've been getting uh, death threats and hate mail. Well, not death threats. Uh, a lot of threats. People. Well, after death mail. threats. I have a whole folder yeah. actually on my desktop with all this. Um, it's, it's a lot of ignorance. People don't know the law. People don't want to listen. This one person, um, apparently from the Marine Corps, sends me a message here. It ain't unconstitutional. You dummy. The God. Constitution says the right to free religion. The courthouse religion is Catholic, so that's what they are displaying. Now <laughs> shut up and fall back into your hole and go play your little D and D and beat off with your friends. So that that was kind of interesting. Nice. So 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 we've got yeah. at least one Marine serving who doesn't understand the oath he took to uphold and defend the Constitution. That's well, he might understand the oath. He just doesn't understand the Constitution. Yeah, yeah, so the, the, yeah. I'm supporting the Constitution, and that Catholic that church is uh, that courthouse's religion is Catholic. <laughs> that's what he says. Wow. That's, yeah. That's, there, there have been a lot of really good ones. I mean, if you Google my name, it's Justin Bakula. You can easily find everything. I'm being lambasted on Craigslist. Um, they said, what am I going to go down there with a pink cigar and, you know, have a pole and this and that. And it, it's getting absolutely out of hand. My wall has been flooded. But it's, it's been kind of entertaining. And it proves the point here that these religious people don't want to listen to clear argumentation. They haven't even read the legal arguments. And even if they did, they'd say, oh, we don't care. We just want our tradition. Yeah. So they say, you know, yeah. just forget the law. Yeah, People it's, it. they're, they're happy to endorse the law when the law supports them, and they ignore it when it doesn't. And they do the same for science. They're happy to cite science when science appears to support them. And they're happy to ignore and deny science when science doesn't. It's, it's, it's an, an entirely win-win situation for them. You know, it's, I, I it's so absurd that it's difficult for me to even grasp how I ever thought remotely like that. Um, I know. And, and, yet, and yet, I also know people who currently think like that. Um, I have people that I deeply care about who think like that. Um, and it's one of the reasons why we keep doing what we're doing here, because one of these days, I'd, I'd like to think that it may be possible to figure, it, figure this stuff out, to figure out what it is that drives people um, you know, is it just fear? Is it just ignorance? Is it, the, you know, a combination? Is it, you know, some evolutionary remnant of relying on authority? Um, I don't know. Well, and, and I think it, 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 a lot of people that, um, you know, they, they want to have religion in the public square. They, it's almost like they want some kind of government endorsement of religion. But they're ignorant of what happens when you do that. And, and Europe is a very interesting case in that because most countries in Europe have some kind of official church. And, and what you see over there is that um, having this official government-sponsored church has basically eliminated the competition. So all of these other different beliefs that people have, and I mean, we've got, I can't even count how many different denominations we have here and, the, and, and even some, some of the stranger ones that have sprung up 
as you know, homegrown American denominations. But you know, one of the reasons that these groups have flourished in this country is because there is this competition for ideas and because there's no official endorsement of government religion.